So we'll see how this goes. Greetings. This is the great one himself, Cynical Libertarian Society. C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-S-E.com on the interwebs. I'm out here up the Pooter Canyon. <laughs> up the Pooter Canyon. That is not a code phrase for having sex. It's not a code phrase, I should say, for having anal sex. The Pooter Canyon, for those of you not in the Fort Collins area, the Pooter is the river that comes through here. And yes, it is the endless butt of jokes. <laughs> oh, butt of jokes. Pooter River. Get it? Oh, slap your knees, kids. That's fucking hilarious. Pooter Canyon was apparently named... It's a French word. I was going to say it was apparently named by some French guy. I don't actually know if it's named by a French guy. But I am told, because it... I read it on the internet, so it must be true. Pooter is a French word. Yes, there's, there's so many places we can go at this. Anyhow, I'm out here hiking a trail in the Pooter Canyon. Cloud cover is disappearing, sun is going out. I only have one and three quarters quarts of water left. I'm starting to get delusional. I'm going to try recording an anarchy moment out here. I'm walking along and I'm thinking about stuff. Here's what I'm thinking about. The way differing people perceive the same circumstances. This is an important thing to keep in mind as you go through life. Because it's real easy to talk shit about diversity and multiculturalism and all this other horse shit. But ultimately... All you have to do, and of course this is one of the roots of anarcho-capitalism, in my opinion. I believe this is a root of anarcho-capitalism, is to understand that other people have different worldviews than you have. And this is why central planning does not work. Central planning cannot account for everybody's needs all the time. But each individual can account for their own needs at all times. Now this doesn't mean each individual always gets what they want. That's not the same thing at all. But it means that as you go through life you can always be thinking in your mind about what it is that's best for you. And so now I'm going to walk past another hiker who's going to look at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself because she doesn't know I'm recording my podcast out here. And where was I? All right. Oh wait, I gotta do a water crossing. I'm gonna have to pause. I'll be back after I get across the water without dying. Or maybe I'll just leave this running. Hang on there. Alright, I survived. Where was I? Oh yeah, differing perceptions. And each person as they go through life can make their own decisions in the moment. They can negotiate with the people around them. They can seek the situation that works best for them. 
when you have central planning, the individual's ability to do that is erased. For example, here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins, we recently got this new bus system, the MAX. I'll be talking about it more. I've talked about it a little. One of my friends was attempting to rabidly defend the MAX on Facebook, and in her post in which she was rabidly defending this bus system, she pointed out that the government can't make a system that works for everybody all the time. Which, of course, is the entire fucking point that us anarcho-capitalists keep making. This is that central planning cannot account for everybody. Therefore, by the very nature of what central planning is, the fact that central planning cannot account for everybody, there will always be some people who are excluded. In politically correct lingo, this is called discrimination. Oh, you're discriminating against me. Oh, I'm being excluded. I'm being marginalized. But of course, with something like the Max Transit system, which I'll just make fun of this now, which doesn't run on Sundays, because of course nobody goes anywhere on a Sunday. Everyone fucking stays at home and talks to Jesus or something because our city is run by Puritans. And something's moving in the woods. Hopefully it's not a bear that's going to eat me. If it is, these are my last words, so I'd like to say to all of you who are statist, fuck you. There, just in case I die, I got that out. The, the Max doesn't run on Sunday when it would actually be fucking useful, because apparently nobody does. But, but she said, well, but they can't design a system that works for everybody. Well, no, they can't. And that's why the government should not be designing systems, because central planning doesn't fucking work. Everybody has a differing world view. And to come back to the differing world view, every time I come up the Pitter Canyon, because there's only one road that comes up the canyon here. When I say up the canyon, canyons are usually down. We say up. It's up the side of a mountain, but it's a canyon on the side of the mountain. Every time I come up the canyon here, I'm usually driving fairly slow because I'm enjoying myself. There's a great view up here. There's mountains. There's water. And I got some music cranking on the stereo. And I'm cruising along, enjoying myself, having a good time. And there's always people who end up behind you who want to go really fast. And it just drives them crazy that you're not going fast enough for them and they're just itching and itching to get around you and the bicyclists are giving me strange looks as they walk by and hear me talking to myself because I'm really concerned about what a person on a bicycle thinks some random person anyway world views see right there world views I'm out here I'm in the beauty of nature I'm recording my podcast I'm standing by this little river you can hear you can hear the river in the background right The cloud cover is coming back, so it's cooling off a little bit again. It's beautiful. I mean, I couldn't be any fucking happier. If I could record every podcast out here, this would be the great... I mean, I could. There's really... You know, I mean, the only thing stopping me is myself. I need a vehicle to get up here. I have to come up here all the time. It would be a giant burden. But you see, I could make the choice to do what's necessary to come up here and record every episode of the podcast. That's entirely within my own control. Because there is no central planning for where I record my podcast. I get to make that decision. Anyway, each time I drive up the canyon, there's always these people who get behind me. They're in a giant hurry. And it ticks me off a little bit. I'm going to be honest. Because it, it, I have an emotional response to shit just like everybody else does. It ticks me off because I think, what the fuck is wrong with these people? It's a beautiful day. You're driving your car up the side of the mountain. You got the river on one side. You got trees around you. There's some. There's a lot of fire burn up here still too. We had some big fires up here a couple of years ago, and there's still a lot of burned trees. But the area is recovering quite nicely. It looks like. 
So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell's wrong with these people? Why are they in such a hurry? Why are they not enjoying this? And that's when it kicks in to my brain to remember that everybody has a different worldview. I don't come up here that often, so every time I come up here, I, I love it, I enjoy it. It's beautiful and amazing. And this person behind me who's in a hurry, he might live up here. And he he's seen this a thousand times. He's driven this path more times than he can keep track of. He does not give a fuck about the scenery anymore. Because he has a different worldview. And maybe he's in a hurry to get home. Maybe his, you know, maybe there's something going on. Maybe he's got to get home to get his medication. Maybe he's, maybe his child is at home alone. Maybe his wife called him and said the toilet is backing up. I mean, I don't know. Anything could be happening. There might be a really good reason, other than just he's seen this before, that he's in a hurry. And as you go through your life, if you want to be a good anarcho-capitalist, I believe that one thing you always have to keep in mind is that other people have differing worldviews. And keeping this in mind is really important. Keeping in mind that other people have different worldviews is the thing that allows people to get along with each other. It's not diversity and multiculturalism and tolerance and all this other horseshit that gets shoved down your throat in college and by the liberal media and everything else. That stuff is not fucking helping you. Because, of course, that stuff is simply reverse racism. That stuff is simply let's hate white people. That stuff is let's exclude heterosexual white men who work for a living and let's punish them for being better than the rest of us. None of that's going to fucking help you. The only thing that's going to help you is being able to understand and apply the knowledge that other people have differing worldviews.